Hi, I'm Andy Dorschek. I'm the editor of Drum Magazine. Welcome back. We are once again looking at the drum parts of Mitch Mitchell during his early days with the Jimi Hendrix experience. Uh, we're going to move from the first album, Are You Experienced, to the se second album, Axis Bold is Love. Uh, there are a lot of similarities between the sound of both albums and the intensity of the playing on both albums and the direction of both albums. Um, both were produced by Chaz Chandler, has a lot to do with uh, the sound of it. And obviously Hendrix was just on a roll in terms of his composition and the level of the band's uh, technique and, uh, and chemistry at that point in time. Um, it's even more notable that uh, both uh, Are You Experienced and Axis Bold, uh, Bold is Love were both released in 1967, only months apart from each other. Even more remarkable is the fact that they were, were recorded piecemeal while the band was on the road. They'd drop into a studio, record a couple songs, go back on tour, land in another country, record another couple of songs, and yet there's a real continuity to both albums, not just from track one to the last track, but from one album to the next. Um, we're going to look at one of my favorite songs right now um, off of Axis Bold is Love uh, called Spanish Castle Magic. It's another great example of how Mitch, how thoughtful Mitch was when it came to actually orchestrating his drum parts. He was going way out of the box, um, not doing standard rock drumming licks, not even doing standard jazz licks. He was really on, a, in, on his own role in terms of writing drum parts that, that uh, perfectly matched the compositions that Hendrix was coming up with. Again, there was a chemistry there that uh, is rarely duplicated in any other uh, musical situation. So let's take a look at uh, the, the uh, various drum parts that went into Spanish Castle Magic. Spanish Castle Magic has some really magic drum parts on it. Um, it starts off with uh, Hendrix and Mitch Mitchell playing a unison lick. It only happens at the intro. Um, and it goes something like this. One, two, three, four. That uh, initial intro lick you go into uh, a figure on the drums that actually is the figure that you play during the choruses throughout the rest of the song. And it's sort of an interesting variation on the type of syncopation you would hear at the time from the drummers of James Brown, playing around the backbeats um, with an emphasis on the and of three on the snare drum. Let me show you what that looks like. One, two, three, four. So after that intro lick, um, you go into a uh, pattern that actually is the pattern played on the choruses throughout the rest of the song. Um, it's a little guitar intro at the beginning, though, uh, where Mitch introduces that idea. Now that pattern is loosely based on the type of uh, uh, drum groups that you might at the time associate with the drummers of James Brown, where the snare drum, rather than just playing on two and four, is actually um, emphasizing the and of three. Uh, it gives us a little forward propulsion and it feels something like this. Here's, here we go. One, two, three, four. This part really shows off how inventive Mitch Mitchell was when it came to uh, uh, writing his drum parts. Um, obviously, Hendrix uh, played the song for him, and it had this really distinctive uh, guitar riff during the verses. And Mitch decided to mimic that uh, in a very unique way um, by going back and forth between the bass drum and two hands, one the left hand on the snare, 
the right hand on the floor tom. And uh, the thing that's interesting, that, that while the bass drum plays eighth notes, um, and it maybe on first listen might sound like uh, Mitch plays the eighth, eighth notes throughout the figure, in fact, he's trading back and forth between his two hands and his bass drum. And it sounds kind of like this. One, two, three, four. So like I said before, Spanish Castle Mas Magic has a very simple song structure. All you have to know is the line on the verse, the line for the chorus, and then just fill wherever it feels appropriate. Thanks for checking in to DrumMagazine.com, and uh, we'll see you next time.